Follow widespread reaction to the U.S. Department of Justice's findings into LMPD today. One name has been echoed, Brianna Taylor. Wave News reporter Kennedy Hayes spoke to Taylor's mother and attorneys about what the investigation found. Myra, Palmer's two attorneys stood by her, saying they were not surprised by what the DOJ found. Although they are encouraged about the change this report could bring, they aren't yet convinced. For Tamika Palmer, it's been a nearly three-year marathon. Demanding change for her daughter, Brianna Taylor. I've always knew she would be great, um, that she would do good things. It shouldn't have took this. Palmer stood by her two attorneys Wednesday to discuss the Department of Justice investigation into LMPD, a massive report detailing excessive force and discrimination within the department. I don't even know what to think, to know that this, this thing should have never happened and that it took three years for anybody else to say that it shouldn't have. Palmer's lawyers pointed out how the findings shed light on long-stemmed problems within LMPD, many of them happening before the department's raid that killed Breonna Taylor. 18-year-old Tayon Lee's unlawful traffic stop in 2018, just one example. This is a patterns and practice investigation, and the findings relate to patterns and practice. It is not one particular case. There are certainly things that were in there that I'd never heard of whether it came from sexual assault victims, teenagers that, you know, were beaten badly, people who had their homes raided with no probable cause. Attorneys added the 36 recommendations for LMPD and city government won't be enough to make change. Every officer, prosecutor, and judge needs to be held accountable. Until then, the fight for Breonna Taylor and justice is far from over. Like you already said, we're still going back and forth with some of the things that we got in the settlement. So it's easy to say it until we actually start using those policies and, and procedures. It'll just keep repeating itself. Palmer's attorney said much of what happens in Taylor's case starts at the state level. Everyone in Kentucky has a vote in who becomes the next governor. Kennedy Hayes, Wave News. Thank you, Kennedy.